Hi, I'm Joshua Carr from Carr Real Estate. Uh, one of the most common questions I get has to do with how can I make my spreadsheets run faster? It seems no matter how fast your spreadsheet is, you always want it to run a little bit quicker. And of course, the snarky comment could be, the snarky response would be, well, you could just buy a faster computer. But of course, first off, why throw money at the problem? And second of all, even that won't solve some of the issues. So how do we get, get our model to run faster and do so in a cost-effective way? Well, there happens to be a really good help item about this that the Microsoft people put together. Um, I have a link to it. It's right up there. It's also on a spreadsheet that I'm going to show you. Uh, basically, what you can do is you can open an Excel spreadsheet. You can use this Visual Basic code that Microsoft put together. And the code's down here, and there's steps on how to run this. But basically, you take this Visual Basic code, and you copy-paste it into an Excel spreadsheet, which I did here. And I've got some uh, Visual Basic code that I put in. And then once you put that Visual Basic code into a module, and again, if what I'm speaking here sounds like a foreign language, uh, that help page explains how to do exactly what, I, what I'm doing. But here's the fun part. Once it's there, you can compare the speed of Excel functions. So for example, I put together a VLOOKUP an index match function and an X lookup. That's a new function that the people at Excel just created. Uh, so for example, uh, with this V lookup, I could say, I've got this table of information. I've got numbers along the side. I've got months along the top. I could look for the number 15,000. I could look for it in the fourth column. In other words, I could say, look for the month of March, line 15,000, and I've got 30,000 lines here. And if I did, it would pull back the value of 15,013. Um, I could go there, but just trust me, I mean, it comes back with a value of 15,013. I then did the exact same thing on index match, and then the exact same thing using the an index match. Here's the index match function, uh, like a VLOOKUP, but uh, instead of counting columns, I'm actually matching for the column whose name is March. In any event, do it with an index match function. And then finally, I used an X lookup, which is again a new function that Microsoft has just introduced. And depending on uh, what version of Excel you're running, you may or may not have access to this. In any event, I did that, and then here's the fun part. I can go to one of the functions in question, and I can go to macros, and I can either recalc the model or some of the cells, or just do a quick recalc after doing a full calc. Or I could time the sheet, and in this case, if I time the sheet, it tells me that this sheet, for example, takes 0 0.029 seconds to calculate. I could go here, and I could time this sheet and see that it's 0 0.034. And then I could go here and I could be like, and here it's 0.033. And then the fun part is you could do it a few times for each function. And you could come up with the conclusion that, as you see here, given five runs for VLOOKUP or index match or X lookup, that this is pretty much very similar values. Uh, that whether or not you do it with a VLOOKUP, ignoring that one outlier, whether or not you recalc this with a VLOOKUP or an index match function or an X lookup, you're getting substantially the same amount of time it takes to look for the value when going over 30,000 rows of data. Um, and this is just a simple example of how you could take some Visual Basic code um, that Microsoft provides for you, uh, build a few sheets, and basically test different ways of calculating things against each other. Um, this is the sort of approach I use when building models. I like to build the model as efficiently as I can. And then uh, if there are any bottlenecks, go back and try to figure out which sheet is slowing the model down and then dig in a little bit deeper and see what range is, you know, screwing things up. Um, and again, if you're interested in that, I have a link to this right on that page. I'm also going to put a link to this uh, on my website uh, if you go to... 
carrealestate.com, carrealestate.com, and I go to say free stuff, I'll put a link to it on the free stuff page uh, so that you can check out how that works. Again, uh, hopefully you find that interesting. If this is the sort of stuff that makes you happy, let me know in the comments below or send me an email. Um, and thanks again. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to use a tool like this to make your model run a little bit better. And again, the file I'm going to put up on the website is called timertester.xlsm, and all the Visual Basic code is already loaded in there in this module. It's all built for you. And all you have to do if you want to run it is when you get the file, go to the Developer tab, go to Macros, or alternately just press Alt F8. Alt F8 opens it up, and then you can do a full calc, a calc only for certain of the cells, a quick recalc, or you can recalc just the sheet, and you can start to figure out what's working and what's not. Okay, hopefully you, you found that helpful, and uh, best of luck. Thanks again.